Stand back! Are you injured, sir? May I be of some help? Where did you come from? Just below at Thornfield Hall. I am the governess. I'm on my way to Postaletic and I fetch someone to help. The governess. You may help me yourself. Get hold of his bridle and lead him to me. If you would be so kind. It would be easier to bring me to the horse. Come here. I must beg of you to please come here, Miss Governess. Make haste with your letter. Who knows what might lurk in these dark woods. change your frock. He wishes to meet you. Leah, take a cloak. I have to change. I was dressed for the evening when Mr. Rochester's here. But all my dresses are the same. Well, you must have one that's better. He's in a terrible humour. His horse fell in Hay Lane and his ankle is sprained. He's at the doctor this half hour. Where have you been? Let us sit. I've examined Adele and I find you've taken great pains with her. She's not bright, she has no talents. Yet in a short time she's improved. Thank you, Mr. Rochester. Been resident here three months? Yes, sir. And from whence do you hail? What's your tale of woe? Pardon? All governesses have a tale of woe. What's yours? I was brought up by my aunt, Mrs. Reed of Gateshead, in a house even finer than this. I then attended Lowood School, where I received as good an education as I could hope for. And I have no tale of woe, sir. Where are your parents? Dead. Do you remember them? No. And why are you not with Mrs. Reed of Gateshead now? She cast me off, sir. Why? Because I was burdensome and she disliked me. No tale of woe? I daily thank Providence for sending us, Miss Eyre. She's an invaluable... Don't trouble yourself to give her a character. I'll judge for myself. I've heard to thank for this sprain. Sir? You bewitched my horse. I did not. Were you waiting for your people on that lane? I have no people, sir. I mean for the imps and elves and little green men. The sad truth is they are all gone. Your land is neither wild nor savage enough for them. Adele brought me these. Are they yours? Yes, sir. Where did you get your copies? Out of my head. That head I now see in your shoulders. Yes, sir. Who's this? The Evening Star. Were you happy when you painted these? Yes. To paint is one of the keenest pleasures I have ever known. Then your pleasures have been few. Are you satisfied with them? Far from it. 
I imagine things I'm powerless to execute. You've secured the shadow of your thoughts. Yet the drawings are, for a schoolgirl, peculiar. Good night. Come and help.